Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video we're going to talk about when it comes time to putting a dual master cylinder on your 66 and earlier Beetles. You guys like to do this. We like to do this just for safety purposes. It's pretty obvious. Uh, but you, what, what you run into uh, are hose size differences, brake hose size differences now from the earlier reservoir to a later master. And I'm going to show you what we do here to correct this problem is we make a junction that looks like this to work with the earlier hose and onto the later hose. Just go to your local hardware store and you can buy these things called barbs. So here's the green hose, the braided hose, which is the correct stuff to use with the seven millimeter uh, thicker hose. So the green hose is five millimeter, the, the bigger hose is uh, seven. So this is a 67 uh, brake reservoir. And you're going to want to use this for your 66 and earlier bug to make this work right. You might have to do some modification to your body to make that fit right. So the green hose, the smaller hose, is going to go on the uh, 67 reservoir. But that green hose will not be able to go around the plugs here on the new dual master. So what do you do? Like I showed, you're going to make that junction. And these junctions are called barbs. Okay, you can go to your local hardware store and pick these up. The, th the thread is 8mm, and on each end is going to be able to help you. So you get these 3 16th by 1 8th plug here, or barb, hose barb, and that would work for the 5mm uh, green hose, and then the quarter inch by 1 8th uh, would be for the 7mm hose. And they go on nice and snug, and then you're going to need this coupler, of course, 1 8th thread to couple them together. And I did it loosely here. And when you put the green hose on the barb, you'll, you'll see. You're going to have to put it on much further, of course. And that I didn't do it all the way yet because those barbs will hold that hose on. That's why they're, they're, uh, they're rigid like that. And uh, definitely going to want to use clamps. And you're going to want to tighten that down with a pair of pliers or a wrench or something to get that nice and tight. And then that's basically it. Um, and that would help you with your brake situation with the different hose sizes from reservoir to master. So like I said with the 67 uh, reservoir you could have to make this a modification on the body here where the uh, washer bottle goes. So there is one hole there for yeah, single reservoir. So you're going to just have to either drill a new hole into the body there to, uh, to make this reservoir fit and you're going to have to also modify the strap that holds the reservoir in place. So you're going to probably have to just drill some holes to get this to work right. Or you can make it even simpler by putting, the, they sell these reservoirs now that sit right on top of the master. And they plug right in and then you can keep say a dummy master uh, reservoir in your earlier beetle. So here's what it looks like here. You can put that reservoir on top. The only tough part now is, is getting the fluid in underneath the car while the gas tank's in. So the, the accessibility is a little more difficult. This is how you attach it. Basically, it's right from there, the green hose. Then your junction, like we showed. And then your 7 millimeter braided line. Please use the braided line, the correct brake hose, to work with this stuff. And then that brake hose will go on the dual master there. So uh, make sure you use the clips, like I told you, fasteners on those hoses. So if you guys got any questions, uh, email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com, or visit my website for more videos, www.classicvwbugs.com. Take care, guys. Um.